Second time, Dougie. Oh, you made it, Douglas. Hi, Catherine. Hey, hey, me. Well, he's there. But can you hear us? I think it's still just connecting. Yeah. Uh, I'm here, mate. Sorry, what was that, Dougie? I'm here. Yeah, here. Excellent. Excellent. That's what we oh, like to see. I'm coming from the building. building. Peter. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 And the yeah. man, the legend himself. Hey, Peter. I think it's just connecting his sound. Uh, uh, zoom. Zoom world. Zoom, zoom, zoom. 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 Uh, have you guys got um, questions to ask Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give you some questions if you don't have any, Dougie. I actually do. I've been pushing to my head. Excellent. Yes, we can. Which one's Matt? I'm Matt here. Yeah. 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 We, 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 we Excellent. Pleasure to meet you. So, we are recording. This is our lunch break show. My name is Matt, and I am joined by my co presenters. Yeah. Hello, this is uh, Michael Mead. Hello again, Australia. Hi, Michael. This is James. I met you once. Hello, oh, Australia. Are you Australia? Australia. 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 Well, no, we're broad. no, no, it's just that. No, I am Australian. It's just my accent. Oh, okay. different. Mm. We've got Michael. We've got Dougie here. Yo. Hello. 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 Well, it's a pleasure to have you here, Peter. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. It's, uh, it's an honor. We're very excited to be here. Oh, good. Well, nice to be here. <laughs> well, we've got some questions we'd like to ask you. Yeah. If you're, if you're up for it. Yeah. yeah, carry on. I'm always happy to ask the question. Really right. Well, I think Michael, can you start us off with a question? Yes. yes. Well, <laughs> well, it, it, it's, it's just that nowadays, nowadays this thing called the internet. internet. Um, um, uh, it's, it's really good, good to see that your 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 classic songs are becoming um, are still remembered, especially in this day and age of the internet. Especially that you even got your own YouTube channel. And uh, how does it feel that you've actually uh, that your videos are? Are being well entertaining, entertaining the new generation of young audiences. <laughs> well, lovely. It, it's, it's wonderful. wonderful. Um, I think that the, 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 the nature, nature of the nature of children music, if, if it's any good at all, it does get tend to get passed down to a new generation. So uh, the fact that uh, some some of my best known songs now are like 30, you know, 32, 33 years old. Just done uh, a, a lullaby time, right? So, lullabies each night uh, 
at half past five as a lot of us book. And we did some poems as well. It's not a story or a poem that's come out. I'm going to do some more of those next week as well. So I'll be busy, but I have to say I miss I miss performing to audiences because I had a great big tour lined up to, to, to go to a, to go to Perth, Sydney, uh, Canberra, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, and Hobart this year. And uh, who knows? It, it may still happen, but it may not. So I'm not not sure yet. Yeah. When was that? So that, that tour was yeah, it was going to start. It was actually the first show was going to be in Brisbane on May the 23rd. Of course, that's, that's been gone. That, that was not going to happen. But the next show is going to be uh, Melbourne, September the 19th, uh, Sydney, 29th of September, Adelaide, October 10th, Canberra, October 17th, uh, Perth, November 17th, and November 14th. And it may be seen whether those particular concerts will happen or not. It just depends on what happens with the virus over the next uh, month or so. So it's a, a bit of a wait to see at this point. A bit of a wait to see, yeah. yeah. Fingers, 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 wait to see, fingers crossed. Excellent. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, listeners, we're all crossing, crossing our fingers. Yeah, fingers, right. fingers and toes crossed, yeah. Hey, Amy, do you want to ask a question? Yep. I would love to. Um, just want to tell you, Peter, that I absolutely love you very much. You, yeah. you, you actually, when I was really little, I listened to you all the time, all the time. And I remember, yes, I listened. I, I, I loved your music when I was young, and I still love it now. We all do now. Um, my question, we all do now. Um, my question is, have you ever made anyone cry who's been your fan? Yes, I have, actually. Um, I, I have made people cry, uh, and that's kind of lovely in a way, if they're crying because they're a bit sad because of a song. Uh, I have a song on my Christmas album called Love and Joy, and uh, if you don't know that album, you won't know the song. But if you do know, I do know that. I do know that album. Yes. Okay. Well, that's um, we did a, big, a bit of great big tour of that album in 2018. We toured the whole country, every capital city. And yeah. the, that song, Love and Joy, some of the, one of the people the, on the radio station told me always made his dad cry. And I thought that was lovely, lovely because it is, it is a kind of a, a kind of a sad, stroke, uplifting song, a bit of both, really. Yes, I think I think the precious thing about your music is it doesn't matter what kind of music you play, it still has a place in all of our hearts forever. When we were growing up, I think that that's very special. Yeah, well, 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 that's really lovely. I always think that music, music should be like that. It should uh, it shouldn't matter that much how old you are. Um, even no. it's called children music. Uh, for me, I mean, a, a, a good song is a good song, whether it's a song from show or a song from adult. And sometimes you get, you get these songs and you're not quite sure whether they're for children or adults. And I think they're kind of interesting songs. And I, I, quite, I, like quite, I quite like writing that sort of song. You're not quite sure. Is this a kind of a child? Is this an adult? Maybe it's somewhere in between. Wow. I think that's very special about your songwriting, indeed, how you just make up a song and the people love it, they laugh or they cry. It's just amazing how music is written like that. Yeah. Well, well songwriting song song is a very, a very precise thing to do. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of, a lot of writing and rewriting and getting it, just getting it right. Um, I guess the worst thing to be as a songwriter is if you're happy with something that's not quite the best. <laughs> for me, I don't record anything unless I'm really happy with the song. I think it's the best song I want to do. And, and very occasionally I write a song that doesn't quite get there. I think this song does not quite make it. So I just simply leave it. And occasionally, occasionally I might come back to it and have another to go with it. But sometimes songs just don't get there. Most of them do. 95% of my songs I start writing do end up being songs that they record. But occasionally the song doesn't quite get there. Mm. Hey, Dougie, I saw your hand up before. Did yeah, you have a um, can you hear me? I can, I can hear you, yes. Um, I saw you recently down in the city, remember that? Down where? In the city. Sydney? And um, I think you sang this or something, and I saw you and thought, oh my God, 
Katie Kennedy. Um, what I want to ask is, do you still have that summer in the um, in the country floor on the Mountain Goose Mountain Goose floor? Sorry. Oh, sorry again. Um, I'm sorry again. Um. In the past, in the Christmas pageant, right? Yeah, yeah. You have that song, the Mother Goose song, Merry Christmas to everyone. Do you still have that? I mean, Happy Christmas to you and to you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I thought, and I thought, is that going to be in the pageant this year or not? Uh, I don't know. They, they don't ask me. It, 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 it suddenly appeared in pageant a couple of years ago, so I presume it's probably been in the other. In the pageant since, but I, I don't know. I, I, missed, I missed the pageant last year, so I'm not sure whether it was there or not. But it probably was. Probably was. Yeah. 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 So they just started playing the song. I knew you, you, just, you didn't even realize. Hello. Right. No, but what I want to ask you is you did a good job at the Christmas concert that, that, that day in the city. Again, when I didn't quite catch that, that about the song, song, song of the city. city. Again? No, I said when you when you sang that when you were performing at, at in the city, everyone liked you um, performing and, and cheered for you. Yeah, yeah you, you, you mean at, at the concert of the city? You mean? Yeah. Was it, I was there. Oh, yeah, at the at the dance and playhouse. Yeah, I was there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought that, 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 that was very very, very good. Oh, good. Oh, good. And what? How's your daughter going? Ah, which one? One and I have three daughters. I have an older one. One and the middle one, and then the younger one. And the middle one. Sorry? The middle one. The middle one. The middle one, Alice. Alice, how's she going? She's going very well. Yeah, she's uh, going well. You guys have had, you know, you have a living family. I do. I'm, I'm very lucky to see my musical. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's throw the question to James. So James hasn't had a chance to ask a question yet. What was one of your questions? For first, Peter, do you, do you remember this party from Charlie's, Charlie Chapman's? I yes, I do remember that actually. That was was that, was that at a bowling club? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. I, I do remember that. That would have been about maybe three or four years ago, wasn't it? Could be. But two years ago now, two or three. I do. I do remember that. If, I, if I'm thinking the same party, I definitely remember. Yes, it was in Adelaide, wasn't it? Yeah. So for our listeners at home, James is currently holding up a, a video clip to the camera, which is showing Peter Koo performing. I think I can see Amy dancing. Um, I love dancing. I love having fun. It's just so lovely. And this was for um, one of our Tootie artists' 30th birthday, Charlie. Right. Quite clearly. Yeah, did you have a question you wanted to ask? Um, well, Peter, what was your history before you came out, um, you know, famous? Yeah. Did you have um, some other job in school or something? Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. Job before you were a musician? Oh, job before a musician, yes, I was. I was a teacher uh, yeah. on, uh, for about, well, I, I started teaching in, in, in listen, it makes me sound really old, I started teaching in 1969, yeah. and, then, and then I went to school for like five years, and then I went to Sydney, and I taught there for about a year and a half, and then I went to London, and I did a television show in London called Music Side, doing teaching in London. Mm -hmm. a TV show, lots, lots of concerts and performances. And then when I came back to uh, Australia, 
I taught, I taught for another, for another about two and, two and a half years, years and then I finally, finally left teaching and in 1983 I started singing, I started performing as a professional children singer songwriter. Mm. So I've been doing that for a while. And were you teaching music? Uh, so, uh, yes, a lot of the time, I, I started off as a gen general primary school teacher and then in 1974 I started teaching music full time. And from and then, then on, I've always taught music full, full time. time. Yeah, interesting. Cool because primary school, school teachers need, need to know a lot of music, music don't they? Because yeah. yes. often, often, often they don't, don't have, have um, music, music teachers, teachers specifically, specifically for schools, schools. and the, the, the teachers, teachers themselves, themselves need to, to know a bit of music. They do. It's kind of one of those subjects where a lot of teachers are very reluctant to do music teaching. If you're not if you're not you musical yourself, it is a bit hard to, to um, you know, teach. A bit like me trying to teach. Ah, I'm not very good at that. I don't draw very well at all. So, so I wouldn't I would be, much be much good as an art teacher. teacher. Uh, so, so I speak the same, same as if you're a classroom teacher and you don't do very well, you don't do very well. It is quite hard to do it. But yeah, not all schools have music specialists. No, no. Hey, Finn, you had a question that you wanted to ask me. What was one of yours? Uh, um, what's your favourite milkshake? Milkshake? Uh, yeah, I reckon you have to have one. I like, I like all the milkshakes. <laughs> I love a banana milkshake. But I love like a chocolate one too. But I'd probably, I'd probably say banana. Banana? <laughs> Clean your TV too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got another one for Peter Dunn. Peter Keen. Is that right? Yep, yeah. what's your question, Jacob? Um, Peter, so when you were a, a, a um, yes. teacher, was there any any doubt that the kids would listen to you? No, I didn't listen to me. They paid attention because I tried to make I tried to make all my listeners entertaining, and yeah. I, that I could sing and play guitar. So that was um, half the battle was being able to do that. So, yeah. when you're a, when you're a music you're teacher, you're kind of, you become a semi, a, a, a half entertainer anyway, <laughs> especially if you do it. If you can play and sing, you can't be just doing it, what you like doing it. Doing, uh, these, one, doing these one thing, trying to get the kids to, to listen to you is another thing, isn't it? That's right. Well, the, the, the trick is the children to engage them. To actually that's what they gave them. I agree with you. Not that they actually do things. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Hey, Michael, hey, Michael do you have another you question? Want to ask you? Oh, yeah. 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 I most certainly do. Is that, uh, that um, I, I myself, myself would like to be a bit of an entertainer for for audiences, particularly children. And, and um, perhaps, perhaps uh, one, one entertainer enthusiast, enthusiast to another, to another what, what is, is actually, actually the key the of writing a feel-good children's song? Oh, lots lot, lot, lot of things. things. Um, first, first of all, um, I think the, 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 this may seem really obvious, obvious, you need to like children. children. Um, um, you need to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the company of children. children. You need you to understand their sense of humour. Yeah, I think I you think need to be able to know, know, know the skill of writing a good melody, uh, uh, writing uh, interesting uh, words, uh, the ability to write funny songs, because kids, kids love funny songs. songs. But you don't have to always be funny, you, know? you don't have to always be loud and up-tempo, you can be quite gentle sometimes as well. So it's having a whole lot of skills, really, to write. The ability to write melody, the ability to write good good lyrics. Um, and, and as said, said, understanding, understanding children's sense of humour is a big, big, big thing too. too. What, what, what makes children laugh? And what, what kind of things do make children laugh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> if, I, if I start talking like that, I can't help <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that you would. There would be a, a moment you would actually speak with that kind of voice. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, so far I can, I can even, even even talk like that. It even makes adults laugh. Well, sometimes I can hear you uh, give an email. Uh, <laughs> 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 silly saying, silly saying. Like, I've got, I've got a song called the oh, Where's Your Bag, Dad? Your Bag? You left your bag, Dad. Your bag, Dad. That's a yeah. <laughs> 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 
slightly not not nonsensical, but sort of, it's sort of a play on words. Yeah. 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 I love echo songs. So songs like Newsmaker and Mum and uh, Wash Your Face and Hookers are both wonderful songs and kids always love them because they can, they can pick up songs so quickly. Yeah, it's a good one. Question, Michael? Um, Megan, do you want to jump in on another question? Um, what was that? Um, you, you're going to maybe ask about... Uh, uh, how, how long? long? Oh, how, how long, long have you been in APP for? Yeah, a long time. Uh, I've only been, I've, 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 I've been a professional, professional children's children songwriter since 1983. Yeah. So that's uh, about, uh, about, about, 30, about 37 to 38 30 years, years now. now. Um, but I was, um, I was a singer before, I was a singer before that. I also, I mean, I also sing adult songs as well. I don't just sing children's songs. That's, that's what people know me best, much best for singing children's songs. I do sing adult songs as well. Uh, and I have made a couple of, a couple of adult albums. Um, but so I, I first started singing when I was about 17 in a folk group. That's called the Union Four. It was called. The Union? Uh, uh, that's when I learned to play the guitar. And then uh, I had to start. I really had to stop singing since. But I, I only really, I only really started making a living thing out of singing probably in 1983. Uh, even though I was in London doing television shows, I didn't come. It wasn't my full time. But when I got back to Australia, I started work. What was the TV show? It was called Music Song. It was a children's educational music program that was played on BBC One Television for about six years. I remember that, sorry. And then they bought the program as well, so it was on ACC TV as well during the late 1980s. Getting the ACC job. How to buy the DVDs? I should, buy, I should buy your DVDs <laughs> You can see about 25 seconds of this time on my DVD. I've got a DVD called the... I'll show you the right way. Can we do some whole music? Whole music. Lucy on the I've done that, 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 I've done that,
Yours or someone else's? Um, my own, probably my, my own personal favourite of my own albums is probably my first Christmas album. It's called Peter Good Christmas album. That's the one I did, did a big tour. I did a big tour of Australia, performing all those songs at the end of 2018. Probably my favourite album of um, other people's. It's a really, really hard question to answer. Um, I love the Beatles album Abbey Road. I mm. love that album. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty close to my favourite. There's another album um, by a, a group called Peter Paul, Peter Paul America. You probably don't know. They were very, very, very famous back in the 60s and 70s. Mm. They, they made an album simply called Album. And I love that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm going to go up a couple of bands. Yeah. Uh, bridge over with water. There's three. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Think that's close because you're All right. Um, Dougie, I think you, you had um, another question that you wanted to ask? Yeah. Um, continue with the albums, Peter Kane. Um, I wanted to know what was your favourite song of your, in, on your album? On my albums? Um, I, I, I personally like the Christmas album, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I personally like Merry Christmas to you, to you, to you, you know? Yeah. yeah well, the Christmas album is one of my favourite albums um, of my own. Yeah. Uh, probably favourite songs on that album, I, I, I like uh, um, the song called Fear Not For I. Yeah. There's Love and Joy, there's Rejoice, Rejoice. Uh, Rejoice. The song called Christmas. Child, I like, and uh, on on newspaper number album, there's a song called All Good Things that I, that I, really, I really enjoy singing. So I, I always I always would, would, would remind my mum about newspaper mum, and I said, Mum, you need to get a newspaper. Yes, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, Peter Kane yeah, yeah. says yes <laughs> because that song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do some fun yeah. fun yeah. song for you. We'll do some final questions, everyone. So, does anybody have any final questions that they want to yeah. ask? Yeah, I've got to go soon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll get, sing we'll a song before you go. Amy Egan, and then we'll finish finish it up. So, Amy, what was what question did you want to ask? So, my other question is, how do you think this um, pandemic will change your um, change your performing and your life? And when it ends, do you think you'll be able to perform more? I hope so, yes. Um, the pandemic, of course, has had an enormous impact on all performers. I mean, people can't can't perform in, in theatres uh, to, oh. to audiences or outdoor or anything. Oh. Uh, that's just beginning to sort of show, show signs of changing fairly soon. But yeah. it, it'll be very slow. Um, it's hard to know how it'll affect people, say, 12 months down the track. I, I like to think it, it will return to normal <laughs> because people people love going out and hearing uh, hearing concerts. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I mean, um, uh, I, 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 will, I will continue performing as long as I, I can do it. Um, I mean, if, if I get to the point where my voice is no good anymore or people don't want to come and hear me <laughs> or I stop liking it, I'll, I'll stop doing it. But so far, none of those three things. I still love it and I still can sing well, I think. So I also and love you, people Peter. still come to concerts. Thank so you. I also love you, Peter. All right. We're just, we're just going to take one more question from Megan and then we'll finish up. So, Megan, what was your question? Um, have you ever write a book about yourself to your children? I didn't quite catch it. Let me say it again. Say it again. Have you ever made a book on the children's? The children's book? A children's book? Yeah. Which I, yeah. I have, actually, I have made a children's book. In fact, it just happened to be sitting right in my desk, just coincidentally. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote a, book, a book uh a long time ago, called, it's called The Dreaded, the Dreaded Chopsticks Curse. Oh, Can yeah. you see that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've heard of it, but I never oh, read it. I'll read you one, write one, one poem from it, oh, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a poem called Very Strange Cat, and this, this is from this, this particular book. And it goes like this, it goes, a cat, a cat came to stay just the other day, 
I already had one, but I thought, well, it might be fun to have two in the house. Make life hard for the mouse. So, as for now, there'll be a second meow. Every morning it's set for... Oh, I let them in, will you, Kevin? I say, you're an awfully good chap, said the brown new cat. Uh, could you see your way here to fetch some milk over here? My throat's rather dry, and well, not to be shy. So, uh, what do you think? Any chance of milk? I found him a glass, extra fast. He licked and slurped, swallowed and burnt, then said with a wave, Ah, must, uh, must, must, must be off. Uh, got to see Dave. He never came back. <laughs> Very well, thank you so much for joining us, Peter. Well, I've got a question. question. Yeah. Thank before you, you go, I've got a question just... before you go, Peter. Where, the yeah. sing, where, do, where do you sing the one little last song before you hang up? <laughs> one little last song? Uh, yes. Hang Only on. And if you've got hang to go, I'll, I'll, I'll get my guitar. Hang on. Uh, Oh, 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 oh. Twisted his arms, James, but I'm glad. Oh, <laughs> no, boys. Twisted his arms. Autograph. Oh, got his autograph there, Michael. I certainly do. This is, this is the oh, second wow. time I actually see him in person. I'll hang a little bit of a song. Okay. A little bit of a song. All okay. right. Um. Again. <laughs> Do you reckon if I sing newspaper mummy to sing the echoes? Yeah. Yeah. What's black on black? What? 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 Delay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, okay. Well, I can I can sing another one without, without an echo if you like, you can rail that. I reckon the echo will work, let's give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, echo song. Once, 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 Every day, every day, Every Monday, what do we get? You open the door. Here's something I might want to show you, Mr. Coombe. I know oh you, you probably may not recognize me, but this is the second time I actually saw you yeah. in person. And I got the proof right here is that in this VHS tape, the cover of the VHS tape, Little Groover, you actually wrote an autograph on it right here. Okay. Yes, yes, I can see that. Just, I can just see it, yes. So for our listeners at home, Michael's holding up a, old, probably I imagine quite an old cassette tape. Uh, yeah. um, little Grouper. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a video, VHS video, yeah. Yeah. I remember it well. And, well, well, we better let you go. Let's go. Again. I'll go some dinner. All right, okay. so thank you. Were you happy, Peter? Thank you, sir. Okay. thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. Love your work. Were you happy, Peter? Thank you very much. Thank okay. you, Master. <laughs>
been listening to Radio Today. Hello. 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 Thank you for listening, everybody. See you next time. See you, next. Bye. Bye. See you next time on Tudio Radio. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm going to hit stop recording now. Um, thanks again, Peter. Um, okay. If you're going to go have dinner, feel free okay. to, to, to leave the meeting. And okay. We're just going to last. See you, Peter. Thank, Thank you so much. Peter. Come on, Peter. Yeah. I'll see you. Know, yeah. I'll see you. I'll see you. Bye. 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 Great work, everyone. That was a really good interview. How was that? That was, that was oh. really awesome. Go! I was, I was a bit starstruck at the beginning. I was like, I was a bit nervous. <laughs> Me too. I think we all, I thought we all did a fantastic job. And, um, Sorry. and yeah. Don't worry, he'll be coming back soon. Oh, we we'll yeah. get a podcast copy of it. Yeah, absolutely. So that's one thing that I'm wanting to do soon is um, get all of the interviews that we've done up on the internet. So you can just listen to them anytime. Because oh, fabulous. who have we interviewed so far? We've done um, Caroline Peter Gerd. Peter Gerd, Caroline Peter Why don't we do the record, the play school? <laughs> play school? Play school records, wherever. What? What's the name? Oh, we did John Riddell from Channel 7. John Riddell, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that Tom. Oh, yeah. 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 Five years. Good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Finn, you got your hands up?